In this section, we're going to look at updating our main content area, so our main container that has all of our content within it. Uh, so we do have uh, it outlined right now. So when we look at here, we do have an outline of it. Um, and maybe I'm going to add in these outlines into the two separate class sections that we have that we're going to be working with. So we can get a better idea of what we're presenting and how we want to present that content. So we do have one and two, and what I ideally want to do is I want to pull the content on the left hand side and I want to pull the side menu on the right hand side. So we're going to do the same thing that we did up here within the head section where we've got the two sections and we can float them over to the left and then also uh, we can float it over to the right as well, the sidebar. So let's take a look at this and we've got our main content there. Uh, so this one is floated over to the left hand side and then we have to figure out what width we want it to take up. So maybe we want to take up 60% so we're going to do it opposite of what we've got up there. And then next we're going to do the same one for the side menu and we're going to float it to the right this time and this time it's only going to take up 40%. So let's take a look at this and see how this is laying out. So now when we're shrinking it and we've got all of this uh, taking up the proper spacing and one thing that I am noticing is that our images are not responsive so this is a really easy fix whenever we want to make our images responsive we do max width and what max width does is if we have less than the max width available spacing uh, it creates it to a hundred percent so these images are 250 but when we run out of the spacing for the 250 then it takes it as 100 percent so this makes the images responsive just by that one additional line of code so we can see there as we're resizing uh, it is becoming responsive those images so let's go back down to here and look at what else we want to add in uh, so maybe within the sidebar one of the things here is we notice that it's popping right over to the right hand side uh, so ideally we might want to add in just a touch of some padding so maybe five picks of padding so that we actually get some spacing between the edges there and we also probably want to do the same thing for our content uh, so maybe we even want to do some uh, padding around there and this is all dependent on how we're presenting our content uh, so generally with the sidebar maybe we do a background color just to differentiate it to make it slightly different uh, colored from our main content area so that this way the content stands out even more than the sidebar would. Uh, also over here we can center any of their text or we could center the images if we want to do so. Uh, so that's available as well or we could just let them float over to the left hand side so this is dependent on how we want to present that content. We can go ahead and get rid of that outline there and now when we refresh it we've got our two column website all ready to go and notice that we still have to take care of the footer content so that's coming up in the next lesson.